In Common Core, I don't know if people are aware of Common Core, but that's the new education system that's being adopted across the country. So in Common Core, they, I went to the meeting with the school and the, the principal was explaining what the school's version of Common Core is. So they're all proud that they're going to be able to track everything your child does. They're going to see the progress that they're making in class. And this principal bragged that she has an entire wall or room that has all these statistics about each child in that room. So if you want to go see it, you can see it, but you can't see the details on each child the names of the child. So now they can track exactly how your child is doing in school. They also collect other information by asking the children questions which the children would not understand. You know, we need a story about your family so we can understand your family. Who do you live with? The, these kinds of things. So they start asking them these what seems to be normal questions to their child, but they collect this data. Now if a child isn't being successful in school, and they see them falling behind. Under Obamacare, it says that if a child isn't making progress in school or is falling behind, they have a right to come out and do a home visit under the Obamacare laws. Now you end up with the state coming out to check out your home because your child's falling behind in school, and how easy is it for them at that point to get CPS involved and remove your child? And which part of the Constitution would you say that violates? There's nothing constitutional about any of that. Thank they first you. shouldn't be collecting information like that from the school system. Especially from a child. Especially well, from a well, child. Well, it's in the Communistic Manifesto to have government well, yeah, take over right. all schools. But you get, Obamacare, we already know we don't believe in Obamacare and what they're collecting on that. What right do they have under a medical policy even to say, I have a right to come out without your consent to do a home okay. visit? So now let's just talk just very briefly about this idea of oh, expanding into <laughs> Obamacare. If Obamacare was such a great it idea, be that like. why is it that the people who authored Obamacare are calling it publicly a train wreck? Why is it, if Obamacare is such a great idea, that the people who have the most political influence with the people who wrote Obamacare, the people closest to Harry Reid and Nancy Pelosi, why are they the ones who are obtaining waivers so that they can become exempted from Obamacare? Uh -huh. Let's take health care off of the table completely. Let's call this the chocolate frosting on chocolate cake bill. Okay? Why is it that if this is such a delicious recipe, that the people who manufactured the frosting are ones who are suing for the right to not be forced to eat the cake. <laughs> Doesn't that tell you something? Yes. It tells me something. It tells me that anything that this federal government does is going to be ruined. Going to be ruined. Going to be ruined. Going to be ruined.